गाइस वेलकम टू द धमाकेदार फर्राटेदार एंड मजेदार सेशन बाय वेदांत टू यंग वंडर्स सो टू ऑल दो स्टूडेंट्स हुज एग्जाम्स आर बिगनिंग फ्रॉम टुडे और फ्रॉम नेक्स्ट वीक और इन द कमिंग डेज अ वेरी 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 ऑल द बेस्ट टू ईच एंड एवरी वन ऑफ यू आई कंप्लीटली बिलीव दैट यू विल मेक अस प्राउड एंड यू विल मेक योर सेल्फ प्राउड एज वेल सो गाइज डू नॉट फर्गेट दैट वेदांत टू यंग वंडर्स इज ऑलवेज विथ यू होल्डिंग योर हैंड टाइटली to take you to cross that bar of 90% or whatever goal you have in life so guys with that on a very positive note today we are dealing with the chapters of respiration and transportation in plants and animals both these chapters of a grade 7 so all my grade 7 students please watch this entire video because both these chapters will be covered in absolute detail the students of grade 8 also can watch this session because it also covers transportation which is very important we will be dealing with circulation and and excretory system so as we move ahead let me introduce you to the wonderful team of vedantu young wonders who are really working day in and day out i hope you guys are enjoying all the videos that are made by each one of us because guys lot of effort really trust me lot of effort goes behind making every video right from the you know the studio team who arranges this entire studio for us to record the content team who prepares this amazing uh, you know the content of the videos then the editing team who edits it the graphic designers team everyone puts in effort and only then you can enjoy a video so guys for all the effort and for all the hard work please give this video and vedantu young wonders a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because it is absolutely free of cost on the right corner of your screen you'll see a logo of vedantu young wonders just click on that logo and subscribe to the channel today thank you so much guys for all the love and support that you have been showing us do not forget to also connect with us on telegram because you can talk to us and you get notified about each and every upcoming video on on telegram so let us begin with the chapter respiration so first we'll be dealing with the chapter respiration over here we'll be dealing with respiration in plants different kinds of insects as well as human beings so guys let us begin with a wonderful mind map to begin with we'll deal with breathing in humans now guys there is a difference between breathing and respiration breathing is the process of inhaling air and exhaling air inhaling of oxygen exhaling of carbon dioxide that is breathing so the process of inhaling of oxygen and exhaling of carbon dioxide is breathing but respiration respiration is breaking down of glucose to produce energy breaking down of that oxygen that we have taken down to produce energy that is respiration so breathing and respiration are completely two different processes obviously they both are interdependent because we take in the oxygen we can get the energy so they are interdependent on each other but breathing and respiration are two different processes so the organs that are involved in breathing are the nostrils the nasal cavity the trachea and the lungs in the lungs there is something known as the alveolar sac in which the exchange of gases happens in th this will be learning in detail later then talking about the breathing rate breathing rate is the number of breaths that you take per minute exhalation what happens during exhalation the ribs will go down and the diaphragm moves up now guys these two that during exhalation the diaphragm moves up and during inhalation the diaphragm the diaphragm moves down this is the most important point in this chapter because 1000% Thousand percent a question will come because many times students get confused in this. कि inhale में diaphragm नीचे जाएगा या ऊपर जाएगा. Very easily I'll tell you. Very easy trick. हमने inhale किया मतलब हमने ताकत ली. ताकत लेके हम चीजों को दबाते हैं. Inhale the diaphragm goes down. Exhale the diaphragm comes up. So very easy. What happens is when we inhale our lungs become big. when we inhale our lungs become big and they push the diaphragm down when we exhale the lungs become small and the diaphragm comes up so very easy got it i hope you guys have got it so the ribs move down when we exhale and the ribs move up when we inhale we we take in oxygen when we inhale and we give out carbon dioxide when we exhale talking about plants when plants do breathing or respiration same things they do it through the stomata even guys even when plants respire even when plants respire or breathe in plants take in oxygen and they give out carbon dioxide just like human beings that is why it is said that at night you should not sleep under a huge tree because i'll tell you 
वी ऑल नो दैट प्लांट्स डू फोटोसिंथेसिस फॉर फोटोसिंथेसिस प्लांट्स रिक्वायर ऑक्सीजन सॉरी प्लांट्स रिक्वायर कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सो फॉर फोटोसिंथेसिस इन सनलाइट सो प्लांट्स डू फोटोसिंथेसिस इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ सनलाइट एंड क्लोरोफिल नाउ व्हेन दीज प्लांट्स आर डूइंग फोटोसिंथेसिस इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ सनलाइट दे विल टेक कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड दे विल टेक कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड दे विल गिव आउट ऑक्सीजन बट एट नाइट at night they cannot do photosynthesis because there is no sunlight so plants cannot take in carbon dioxide plants cannot take in carbon dioxide so guys there is a very simple cycle that happens there is a very simple cycle that happens which i'll explain you now during the day during the day two processes are happening in the plants two processes are happening in the plants photosynthesis and respiration both in photosynthesis plants take carbon dioxide and they give out oxygen in respiration plants take oxygen and they give out carbon dioxide so it is sort of balanced because whatever carbon dioxide that they are giving during respiration the same is being taken in during photosynthesis correct so it is sort of balanced but during night what happens during night what happens there is no photosynthesis there is no photosynthesis during night there is no photosynthesis only respiration so carbon dioxide is being given out and oxygen is being taken in so that is why if you sleep under a large tree at night the tree will only give out carbon dioxide because carbon dioxide is heavier than air carbon dioxide will come down and you are sleeping down so the carbon dioxide will come on you and if you inhale lot of carbon dioxide you may fall unconscious that is why it is said that you should not sleep under a large tree at night talking about respiration in different animals so to take example of fish fish breathe through gills cockroach breathe through spiracles talking about spiracles so spiracles are present in the cockroach they also have got trachea earthworm breathes through the skin and frogs breathe through skin and lungs both frogs breathe through skin and lungs both then talking about cellular respiration cellular respiration so cellular respiration happens in aerobic form that is in the presence of oxygen where carbon dioxide uh, water and energy is given out and anaerobic respiration that is absence of oxygen in which alcohol carbon dioxide and less amount of energy is given given out now guys whenever you uh, do lot of exercise you experience muscle cramps so muscle cramps are nothing but a type of anaerobic respiration where instead where instead of you know uh, instead of carbon dioxide your muscles produce lactic acid and this accumulation of lactic acid causes muscle cramps talking about yeast so yeast also does anaerobic respiration and that is why it is used in the preparation of beer wine and other kinds of alcohols so guys that is in short about respiration in organisms now let us see some important terms from this chapter that is respiration releases energy from the food and energy released by respiration is used by each cell of the body to perform the various functions breathing is the process of inhaling and exhaling of air cellular respiration is breakdown of food to produce energy aerobic respiration aerobic respiration is when the food is broken down to make carbon dioxide and water and give out energy so aerobic respiration is always in the presence of oxygen glucose plus oxygen makes carbon dioxide water and energy talking about anaerobic respiration so that is in the absence of oxygen absence of oxygen when glucose breaks down without oxygen into alcohol carbon dioxide and energy over here what you have to remember is the muscle cramps the muscle cramps so muscle cramps happen due to the deposition of lactic acid in the muscles due to the deposition of lactic acid in the muscles muscle cramps happen and that is also an example of anaerobic respiration now moving on taking in of air rich in oxygen is called inhalation and giving out air rich in carbon dioxide is called exhalation the number of times a person breathes in a minute is called breathing rate a breath means one inhale plus exhalation whenever a person needs extra energy he breathes faster that is when you are running or under any physical activity on an average a human adult human being breathes 15 to 19 times a minute during heavy exercise the breathing can go up to 25 times when we feel hungry after exercise it is because of lot of food has been consumed because we have breathed so fast that lot of food has got consumed whatever we have eaten and that is why we feel hungry 
when we sleep or rest the breathing rate goes down and that is why you sleep uh, whenever you are sleeping or whenever you are at rest or meditation your breathing rates become very very slow and that is why you feel at rest so that is all about respiration in organism we dealt about human beings fish insects like cockroach earthworm frog we also dealt with the different forms of respiration that is aerobic and anaerobic now guys it is time for transportation in plants very 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 important chapter circulatory system and excretory system these are the two most important systems that we'll be discussing along with the plant uh, transportation that is the vascular system xylem phloem and transpiration so three very important concepts we'll be discussing okay three very very important concepts we'll be discussing now let me explain this entire concept to you on a blank slide first on a blank slide first the first we'll be discussing with transportation in plants transportation in animals that is circulatory system so let me make a mind map for you guys blood blood is the only fluid connective tissue present in the body blood is the only fluid connective tissue present in the body let us look at the components of the blood rbc wbc and platelets now i'll be discussing function of each function of each talking about rbc so rbc has something that is known as the hemoglobin presented it hemoglobin hemoglobin is a compound which is made up of protein and iron the function of the rbc is to take oxygen from the lungs give it to every cell of the body take carbon dioxide from it give it to the lungs and lungs will give it out back that is why guys you have to learn these two chapters together respiration and transportation because they are interrelated talking about wbcs so wbcs are nothing but the soldiers of the body they fight any kind of foreign uh, foreign germs if they have entered the body foreign allergens if they have entered the body so they fight it and so wbcs are nothing but the soldiers of the body talking about platelets so the function of the platelets is to clot the blood if you have any kind of injury if the blood is coming out the blood will automatically stop after some time it is because of the platelets if there is uh, if there is a shortage of platelets in your body your blood will not clot and that is very very harmful so blood clotting happens and for good, for having a healthy blood clotting you should also consume lot of vitamin k then talking about talking about the organ that helps in transportation of blood so it is the <coughs> heart i have done a video on human heart on vedantu young wonder so i have done a video on human heart that covers everything that is required on the working of heart where is the heart located how does the heart look what is the structure of the heart what are the different parts of the heart the working of the heart everything is explained in that video please watch that video and then i can guarantee you that you will not lose even one mark when a question comes on human heart so please watch the video on working of human heart i will also put the link of that video in the description below watch the video on working of the human heart i will also explain it to you in short over here so a human heart it is located in the center of the in the center of your rib cage slightly tilted towards the left the heart is not in the left it is slightly tilted towards the left heart has got four chambers left auricle left ventricle right auricle and right ventricle auricle is also known as atrium so right uh, left atrium le uh, right atrium left ventricle right ventricle four chambers are present in the heart now the left <clears throat> the heart receives the heart receives <clears throat> oxygenated blood the heart the heart receives oxygenated blood from the lungs from the lungs the left auricle receives oxygenated blood which goes from the left auricle to the left ventricle from the left ventricle the blood goes to the entire body then from the entire body from the entire body the deoxygenated blood 
the deoxygenated blood from the entire body the deoxygenated blood comes to the right ventricle right, uh, right auricle from the right auricle it goes to the right ventricle and from the right ventricle this blood goes to the lungs for oxygenation this is nothing but the working of the heart now in the heart you have got arteries these arteries divide into veins these veins divide into capillaries these are these together these together are known as the blood vessels okay now let us study the entire circulatory system with the mind map so blood has got plasma plasma and the different kinds of elements plasma plus rbc wbc platelets they have got hemoglobin they germs blood clotting as i told you talking about blood vessels arteries veins capillaries arteries will carry blood away from the heart to the body veins will carry blood to the heart that is a deoxygenated blood from the body to the heart capillaries are thin tubes heart heartbeat can be measured by the stethoscope it has got two ventricles and two auricles please watch that video on the human heart which is present on vedanta young wonders also excretory system now talking about the excretory system let me also explain the excretory system on a handmade mind map so in the excretory system you have got this is the kidney kidney goes into the kidney releases a ureter from the ureter you have the urinary bladder first let us see the parts then we'll discuss the function from the urinary bladder you have got the urethra now what does the kidney do what does the kidney do the kidney will filter the blood so there is a there is an artery there is an artery there is an artery renal artery there is a renal artery which will bring the blood to the kidney inside the kidney inside the kidney you have something known as the nephrons Nef nephrons are the structural and functional unit of kidney again a very very important question structural and functional unit of kidney is the nephron structural and functional unit of an organism is a cell structural and functional unit of your brain is the neuron so nephrons are the structural and functional unit of kidney so the blood enters the kidney in the kidney there are nephrons nephrons will filter the blood and whatever the filtrate is there whatever the filtrate is there nothing that is nothing but the urine that comes into the ureter in from the ureter it goes into the urinary bladder here the urine is stored here the urine is stored and when the urinary bladder is half full that is when you feel the uh, sensation of urination that is when you feel like going to the washroom and releasing or uh, you know releasing the urine from the body so the bladder is empty so this stores the urine urinary bladder stores the urine and from the urethra the urine comes out from the body so kidney will cause the filtration of blood through the nephrons ureter will pass the urine from kidney to urinary bladder urinary bladder will store the urine urethra will release the urine out of the body that is nothing but your excretory system now so kidneys if the kidneys are damaged if there is any kind of problem to the kidney it it causes something known as the it causes something known as kidney failure kidney failure and if your kidneys are failed you have to undergo dialysis dialysis is nothing but artificial filtration of blood that happens outside the body in dialysis what they do there's a machine known as a dialyzer so your blood is take the blood from the body is taken out into the dialyzer dialyzer it filtrates and it comes out from the body now it's not that that entire blood is taken out filtered and then again put back into the body it is a cycle it is a cycle that the blood goes out filters and comes back again so at no point of time there is no blood in the body it doesn't happen like that it's a continuous cycle now talking about plants talking about the so, you know the transportation in plants in plants you have got two components in plants you have got two components known as the xylem and the phloem what does the xylem do 
xylem will produce xylem helps in the transportation of water water and minerals water and minerals now from where do plants take water from the roots so it is from roots to other parts of the plant whereas what does phloem do phloem will transport glucose or the food now how to remember what transport what always remember phloem for first say food first say food that is how i remember so phloem food it so where is the food produced it is produced in the leaves so from the leaves to other parts of the plant that is about xylem and phloem so xylem it transports water from the roots to the entire uh, entire other parts of the plant water and minerals and what does phloem do it transport food from the leaves to other parts of the plant now let us look at some important points all multicellular living organism require a circulatory system transport system to transport water food and oxygen and further animal need to transport even waste to leave to uh, release waste from the body in human and other animals the circulatory system consists of blood blood vessels and heart blood is a liquid tissue and it has rbc wbc and platelets blood vessels are arteries and veins plasma is the fluid part of the blood and it has got different types of cell suspended in it arteries carry oxygen rich blood away from the heart to the different parts of the body they have thick and elastic walls permanently a permanently artery carries deoxygenated blood from heart to the lungs arteries on reaching the organ branch out into capillaries exchange and exchange happens over there through the capillaries veins carry blood rich in carbon dioxide from the body to the heart except pulmonary vein and veins have got valves very important veins have got all this is a very important very important give reason very important give reason very important give reasons that veins have got valves so veins carry carbon dioxide rich blood from the body from the heart to the lungs okay carbon dioxide rich blood from <clears throat> carbon dioxide rich blood from different parts of the body to the heart except the pulmonary vein and they have got thin walls and valves to not let the blood flow back so what happens if suppose from your toes from your toes the carbon dioxide rich blood is going to the heart now it is going against the gravity so it should not go back it should not go back so that is why veins have got valves to prevent the back flow of blood and that is why blood flows only in one direction heart is an organ which acts as a pump to transport blood to different parts of the body of an organism that's all guys do not forget that we have got something known as the vedantu app which is absolutely free of course available on google store or apple store download the app and it might you know it might clear some of your doubts which could not be cleared in this class or in any other class so download the app because it is absolutely free of course and it will give you access to the class quizzes and leaderboard download that because it is an awarded app by google so download the app and thank you so much for watching i hope i have cleared some of your doubts do not forget to watch the video on human heart which i have done it will clear your concept of human heart like never before that is my promise so watch the video all the best for your exams until we meet next take care of yourself stay healthy stay happy stay blessed bye bye